This time around, our legal term is ex parte, and that's um, from Latin, meaning from one party, and refers to improper contact, such as a lawyer contacting the judge or the opposing party without the other party's lawyer also being present. So that's kind of uh, important information. I mean, you just can't have ex parte conversations, right? Yeah, I think that people watch television and movies and they think, oh, you know, the prosecutor goes and talks to the judge in his chambers all the time, or, uh, you know, you see him on the streets or something and you talk about case specific things and you can't do that. Mm -hmm. It's against the lawyer's rules and it's against the canons that control the behavior of judges. There are some rare situations, usually emergency type situations. A good example would be a restraining order where you have to go and get a restraining order with before you've actually served the individual to protect somebody. That's an ex parte proceeding. You go, you get that restraining order, but it's not final until the person has a chance to have a say. So they get served, they come in, and it becomes final at the end of a hearing that both sides get heard. That's very important in our system, that both sides get heard. And one side isn't providing information to the judge ex parte, just by themselves that then may impact the outcome of the case, or ruling on a motion, that type of thing. So it is prohibited in most cases, but there are some rare exceptions, usually emergency type situations where something has to be done by the judge, it has to be signed, protect somebody, and then you go in afterwards and have full-blown hearings where both sides are represented. Gotcha. Good information to have.